And okay. Leon, we do know that this date is also famous around the world because of President Kennedy's assassination, yeah. but it also carries some significance for all of us here in Cleveland as well. Yeah, it was this day three years ago when Tamir Rice was killed. Rice, by the way, was 12 years old when he was playing at Cadell Rec Center with an airsoft pistol that had the orange cap removed and someone called 911 on him. Two Cleveland officers showed up and Timothy Lohman ended up firing within seconds, taking Tamir's life. He and his partner Frank Garnback were later cleared and the city settled with Tamir's family. And Leon, I consider you a friend. You've been in the city for a long time. This shooting was a turning point, especially for police. November the 22nd, 2014, just three years ago. You know, all this prompts the question of how are race relations in this city of Cleveland? How are race relations in this community? It is a question I've often been asked. It's a question which has been asked of me ever since really I was a college student when I was put on multiracial panel discussions to talk about race relations. Race relations now are troubling. In this community, certainly in many parts of the nation, the question of black and white and other colors too remains a central dividing point. At one friction point are the police in this city this is the case. Often many African Americans view a situation through their own lenses of life. Often many whites view the same situation through their lenses of life. In Cleveland, in many black circles, the police are viewed as an outside force which is not trusted. Even police brass in Cleveland have said it must weed out officers who do not enforce the law equitably across the board. Example. The two black people who were killed a few years ago in a hail of 137 bullets when they were found to be unarmed. Also, there's the Tamir Rice case. It was a local case, a friction point. Even before that, there were smoldering embers. Then with the controversial shooting of blacks by white police officers, the embers flared into loud voices and confrontations, differences of opinions on both sides of the ledger. The Tamir Rice case drew out the sides and the political swords three years ago on this day. Add to that nationally the talk from the White House of a national leader who in recent days seems to add fuel to so many fires. Example, the national question of white supremacists and Nazis marching, the question of the Confederate battle flag, the question of Confederate monuments, the question of police roughing up people stopped for traffic violations, or much less. Race relations, well, they're not good in many circles. How can we improve them, you ask? It begins one-on-one, -on -one, I think, with talking with your neighbor, perhaps over the backyard fence. It's also about sitting down to talk about issues which indeed are troubling, very uncomfortable, I'll agree with that, and dividing, but discussions that need to be discussed. E pluribus unum. E pluribus unum is the motto of the United States. It means out of many, one. In this country, we, all of us, will sink or swim. Whichever way it goes, we will do it together. E pluribus unum. Race relations for me, well, I've always strived to better them wherever I have been. I've received troubling treatment myself simply based on race over the years. Still, things have gotten better, but things were so far down to be better is not necessarily to be where we should be under the U.S. Constitution. Race relations, are they getting better three years after Tamir Rice? Questions is what can you do along with me to make race relations better? I'm counting on you to give that some thought and let's all hold hands and work together. My man, always good to have you in house. Thank you so well, much. Well, it's good to be in the house again. Yes, indeed. I'll step back in another day. We'll day. call you back out of retirement. Call now. me back in. All right. <laughs> Periodically. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.